I've covered the Cinnamon desktop in a number of my videos because it is one of my favorite Linux desktop environments. One of the things that I've always felt was a bit of a hole in the offerings around Cinnamon desktop was running it on Ubuntu. And if you've seen it, I, I made a video on installing the Cinnamon desktop environment to do that. And when 19.10 came out, I thought, oh, well, I can do that same thing or try that same thing. And I noticed that that PPA hadn't been updated in quite a while and that there wasn't a branch for Aeon for, for 19.10. So I really couldn't do that. And I thought, well, that's a shame. Um, and I knew that in the background, someone had been working on an Ubuntu Cinnamon flavor, remix, whatever you want to call it, basically getting a version of Cinnamon that would run on Ubuntu itself and not from a PPA. So that's actually happened now. We have an Ubuntu Cinnamon remix, and this is the, I believe it's the initial release or very early on, um, maybe the first second release so it's swirls is the person who had initially thought to do this and put some effort behind it and did some packaging and things and then was able to get some help from some of the other flavors so i know uh, eric from ubuntu studio and i believe some folks maybe from the budgie project and the mate project were able to well not the project itself but the the ubuntu flavors the maintainers of those uh, were able to help as well so what we have here now is this lovely lovely Ubuntu Cinnamon Remix. And this is, I'm in the, the live image right now, I'm going to show the install process. There's some things that are a little different at this point, and I'm not sure if this is, we're looking at sort of final decisions being made, or if this is kind of a step between you know, starting out and where it might end up. Uh, for example, this is using the Calamari's installer, and as far as I know, all of the official flavors use the Ubiquity installer, and it has that consistency of each flavor having that same install experience, the same tools available. For example, installing in 19.10, they, they include the NVIDIA drivers. So on my laptop here, I have the hybrid NVIDIA graphics and 19.10 is the first release that really works from boot, you know, from just booting it up, installing it, rebooting back into the fresh install and everything's just ready to go. So this with Calamari's doesn't have that. It's not installing the driver for you. I had to actually reboot in and it was Nouveau, and then I had to install it a second time and reboot again. Not a big deal. That's how it was in the past. But I have to wonder if something like that going to make its way in here over time. So a uh, couple initial thoughts here. The desktop is, I, I think this is very nicely done. It's got that warm tone, which, you know, cinnamon sort of invokes that sort of warm, earthy, um, you know, spicy sort of connotation. And I think they've done a good job visually here, picking the colors, the desktop, and using the a1 Ermine desktop wallpaper and, you know, retuning it for this. I also have some, a nice dark theme here with some appropriate icons, very distinctive, which I think is important for any flavor to sort of have its own stamp on something. Very rarely do you see just a vanilla install of a desktop environment. You, you have to put a little bit of sizzle in there, a little bit of pizzazz. And I think they've done this here. It's a very nice uh, dark theme. And if we look, the theme itself is called Kimo. Kimo. I'm not exactly sure how to say that, but it is what they've chosen here, and that's for the, the theme itself and the icons. So have a nice consistency. So yeah, I think it's a very nice first impression, and I will go ahead and start the installer. Now, you notice there isn't a shortcut anywhere for the installer, and that's, I think, a little bit of a miss, but of course, this this is early days, so I'm, I'm not going to be too critical on little details like that. And I'm not even entirely sure this is a like official release. I know it's out there on SourceForge, and you can grab it and, and use it, um, but I don't know if they're considering this to be a like, hey, this is an actual release, or it's just out there, go grab it and play around with it. So no installer on the desktop, but if you just search for install, it's there. And it comes up full screen, which I think is a little interesting. And you can actually right click and say uh, unmaximize, but then it doesn't have window borders, so you can't drag it around anyway. So it, it, somebody intended it to be full screen. I'm just not entirely sure why it needs to be. And you'll see with some of the sizing and spacing here is, is a little wonky. But again, these are very minor details. Um, and I'm not really trying to complain. I'm just pointing out pretty obvious things. Uh, this is Calamari's. I think everybody's pretty familiar with this. If you're not, it's it's the installer that, say, like Manjaro uses and a lot of other distributions are using as well. And so very straightforward process. And it's just going to go ahead and run through its thing. And um, I'm not going to sit and watch all of this. What I'll do is jump back here. And I'm doing this in a virtual machine just so you can see the installation. But I'm actually running it as well here. Uh, I have changed 
changed the theme. I'm not a huge dark theme fan. I don't mind a dark desktop, but the windows themselves, I would really prefer to be lighter. So I'm also a huge fan of the mint themes and icons. When I think of cinnamon, it's almost like when you use plasma, you're using breeze. And I'm I'm just boring enough that to me, that's how plasma is supposed to look. And so I appreciate that it is the breeze theme. And I know there's lots of people that like to customize and tweak things, but I tend to leave the themes alone on a lot of the distros that I like how they look to begin with. Anyway, so when I've used cinnamon in the past, normally I'm looking at how mint implements it or something like fedora as fedora also includes the, the mint themes. And so that's kind of how I'm used to this looking, the window controls and the, the amount of spacing and the icons, just, just it, it's how kind of cinnamon looks best to me. So anyway, I installed those themes. And so this is the remix, but I'm, I've made it look like this instead. The dark theme was just a little too much for me, like I said. So I've installed a couple things on here, but it's it's essentially, I mean, it's, it's Ubuntu 1910. So anything you can do on Ubuntu or any of the other flavors in 1910, you can do on here because it's that's the base. So it's there's really not a lot to go through here to explain how it works because it works like any of the other Ubuntus. In my case, in particular, like I said, the I had to boot with no mode set uh, because it didn't have the driver. It wasn't, it, it didn't have the uh, safe mode for graphics as a boot option in the boot menu. Uh, so I had to set it to no mode set so I could get to the desktop. I had made the observation about putting this shortcut on the desktop. Does it need to be full screen? Why are we using Calamari's? Um, yeah, so, but beyond that, the only thing I've really noticed, and I noticed this elsewhere in other Ubuntu's when I was uh, trying to put Nemo on GNOME, uh, I noticed that Nemo's there, and there's a couple packages for Nemo, but there is not a, uh, there's Nemo add-ons that let you do different things under, like, say, Linux Mint, and I think Fedora has them as well. But if I do, um, if I look for Nemo packages, there really aren't. So there would be a like a previews, which lets you press the uh, space bar when you have a, a file highlighted, and it'll show you a preview of the file. There's terminal where you can open a terminal in Nemo. So stuff like that. There's some add-ons that just aren't here, and it's just not in the package base. Uh, same thing for the X apps. So when you're using like Linux Mint, for example, they have X Viewer and X Ed, and I think there's three or four different X apps that are built by the Mint team and specifically run really well on Cinnamon. I don't I don't think there's a huge advantage over using. You know, they've got um, let's see, G Thumb as the alternative for like X Viewer, and for text editing, they have I think it's Pluma, right? Yeah, Pluma instead of X Ed. And again, these these are all fine choices and it's a GTK desktop. So there's no reason that you can't run any of these alternatives. There's no reason you can't run the GNOME software stack. And there are actually some pieces of that in here. So disks should be here. It's not. Uh, but if I think of like Linux Mint, Cinnamon, you know, they've got several of those GNOME apps as part of their default set of installed applications. And uh, so I think that's one of the other things here that if you look, there wasn't like a screenshot app and I had to install one. There wasn't, um, I'm trying to think there were like a few things that were just sort of not there. And so again, early days. And I think these are just things that haven't quite settled yet. But the important part, the reason I wanted to make the video and to show this off at all is that it's the solid Ubuntu base 1910. It's 4.03, I believe, cinnamon. Let me see your settings. 4.010, uh, 4.0.10. Okay. Anything newer than four for cinnamon is, is pretty solid. Uh, when I looked at the explanation of why it is the version it is, that was really the logic behind it that I saw was that the way that the sort of flow works is that the Linux Mint team builds Cinnamon, packages it, and then eventually that ends up in Debian. And then once it's in Debian, then it can get pulled into Ubuntu. So it, it's, but it's not like an immediate process. It takes some time for that to all kind of work its way through that chain. So 4.0.10 is available for 19.10. And then for 2004, I think it's going to be 4 two dot something. So they'll they'll bump up the versions. But like I said, when you're running Cinnamon, anything above four is pretty solid and it has most of the features. The latest release of Linux Mint 19.3, Trisha, it's 4.4. And it does have some nice additional features. One of the things I really appreciate is under the mouse and touchpad, there's an option 
for when you plug in an external mouse to automatically disable the touchpad. And that's something that to me on a laptop, because I'll go between using the touchpad and using a mouse. If I'm using a mouse, I really don't. So I'm using my thumb right now on the touchpad. I really don't want that to happen. And I just did little features like that. But the, most of the changes in Cinnamon are pretty evolutionary. Like there aren't huge leaps between point releases normally. So again, 2004, if that includes 4.2, I think that's going to be per perfectly fine. All right. So we're back into the installed Cinnamon here. And so you saw my altered desktop and you did see uh, the live desktop. So this is the installed desktop and what you'd get. And I'll just briefly run through the menus really quickly. So normally under accessories, you would see a few more things here, but they've got the basis covered, you know, calculator, um, text editor, you know, font viewer, some basic things like that. They do have a couple games. They have GIMP on here, a scanner app, G thumb, like I had mentioned. And I don't know if this is GNOME photos. Yes, it is. Interesting. Okay. Firefox and Thunderbird, which makes sense. LibreOffice and a document viewer of PDFs, GNOME MPV, but you see there's really nothing else for audio specifically or other kind of sound and video apps. It's really just GNOME MPV at this point, which is fine because GNOME MPV can play sound files as well, but you'd normally see a music player of some sort here and then, you know, straight to administration. And so, yeah, so it's a, it's fairly bare bones at this point. And I think there's a couple things that are missing, but it's not, it's really not, a, I don't see that as a, a fault or a, something I'm going to take away because the, obviously over time, those things are going to get filled in as they get feedback from people and make decisions on different software, what makes sense to include. And maybe they will do something with the X apps, like I mentioned, who knows. But I have to say, just from first blush, using it in a virtual machine and then also installing it on real hardware, because it's the Ubuntu 1910 base, you're getting all of the advantage of running that system with the 5.3 kernel, with the updated NVIDIA drivers, with the you know package refreshes with the 1910 release. So it's a great base and you now have a great option for running the Cinnamon desktop on top of that base. And this is from what I've seen in using it, the it's you know solid. I haven't had any issues with crashes or anything like that. Everything just works the way you'd expect it to. And uh, I have to congratulate the folks behind this for a great solid first effort. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where they go from here. So I will be almost certainly doing a follow-up or two on this as the as time goes on and uh we'll be using it on my laptop here to see how it uh, how it works out so i think that's it that's really all i wanted to touch on and hope you found this useful and informative if you have any questions about this my experience with it please you know, feel free to ask in the comments below with that i think i will say goodbye and see you later all right thanks everyone for watching Bye bye